Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen for today's delicious dinner recipe. I've partnered with Holland House Cooking Wines, a line of flavor enhanced premium cooking wines to recreate some of my favorite holiday recipes with a bold boost of delicious flavor. Today I'll be making my stuffed butternut squash with a white wine mushroom risotto. This dish is so incredibly delicious, it's really aromatic and it's going to be perfect for the holiday season. And before I get started on my delicious white wine mushroom risotto filling, I need to get my butternut squash into the oven. I have mine preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and now it's time to prep these for the oven. Just grab a sharp knife and very carefully split each squash in half. And then grab a spoon and scoop out the seeds. And for this recipe, I'm using three butternut squash to make six halves or six servings. I'm going to arrange them on a baking tray and then drizzle the butternut with a generous amount of olive oil. Season that with a bit of salt, ground black pepper, I'm going to cover the butternut squash loosely with foil. And these are ready to go into my preheated oven. I'm going to bake them at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until that squash is fork tender. Meanwhile, let's get started on the filling. For my white wine mushroom risotto, I'll be adding Holland House white cooking wine, and I absolutely love Holland House cooking wines. I usually have about four or five of these stocked in my pantry at all times. It's just one of those staple ingredients that you can use in so many different recipes, and it always adds a really great bold boost of delicious flavor. I'm preheating a large saute pan over medium heat, and I'll add in two tablespoons of butter. Just allow that butter to melt. Into the melted butter, I'll add in one small diced onion three minced garlic cloves, and a tablespoon of fresh thyme. Just toss that all together and cook it for about two to three minutes. And when making risotto, it's important to keep in mind you don't want to brown any of the ingredients. Just cook them until they're softened. And then we're going to add in eight sliced mushrooms. Toss this all together and cook for about four minutes until the mushrooms are softened too. Now it's time to add in the risotto rice. I have one cup of arborio rice. I'm going to sprinkle that in. And I'm going to kind of toss the rice in with the mushrooms and the onion and garlic and just toast it for about two to three minutes. You want that rice to absorb some of that butter. And I'll need half a cup of Holland House white cooking wine. And this wine is already seasoned with salt, so I'll adjust the recipe accordingly. Pour the cooking wine over the rice. And at this point in the recipe, I'm going to switch over to a whisk and whisk the white cooking wine in with the mushrooms and the onions and cook it for about two to three minutes. You want the rice to start absorbing that liquid. In a separate pot, I've heated four cups of vegetable broth just until it was simmering. You want it to be nice and hot when you're adding it into the rice. And once most of the white wine has been absorbed, it's time to start adding the vegetable broth. So you can either use a vegetable or a chicken broth. I usually add about half a cup at a time. And for this recipe, I'll be using a total of four cups of broth, and it's going to take about 28 to 30 minutes to cook that rice until it's no longer white in the center. It should be translucent. And making risotto is what I call a true labor of love. It just takes time to add that broth in there slowly, allow it to absorb after each addition and whisk it constantly. And the more you whisk it, the creamier the risotto is going to be. And this already smells so good. I love the aroma from the cooking wine. It's going to add so much amazing flavor. I also like to use the cooking wine when I cook regular rice. You could substitute a third cup of the water with a third cup of the cooking wine. Try it next time you're cooking some rice. You're going to love the flavor. My rice is done cooking, and now it's time to add the final ingredients. I have half a cup of Parmesan Reggiano cheese. I'm going to sprinkle that in. Half a cup of dried cranberries. Half a cup of chickpeas. And four cups of finely chopped kale. And then just grab a spatula and toss this all together. 
And once you have all those ingredients well combined, just take the risotto filling off the heat and we're going to be ready to stuff our butternut squash. My butternut squash is out of the oven and it smells so good. It's actually my favorite squash to eat during the fall and winter season. I'm just gonna grab a spoon, kind of carve out a little bit more space so I can add that risotto and just drop that um, butternut back into the bottom. And once you have that squash ready, just grab a spoon and pile on that risotto filling. And this dish has holiday dinner party written all over it. It is so beautiful and I love those pops of color. It's going to look so beautiful served on a platter and your guests are going to love it. I'm gonna add some chopped pecans on top and these are going to add this amazing crunch factor to the dish. And I also like to add a few extra cranberries on top. I'm just gonna push them in there so they stay in place. And that's it for one of my favorite holiday recipes. Time to dig in and enjoy. And let me tell you guys, the aroma alone is just mouthwatering. Going to grab a little bit of everything. Mmm. Wow, let's talk about flavor because this dish has it all. It is so incredibly delicious. Every single bite is packed with so much incredible flavor. I love the creamy white wine mushroom risotto. It has that bold boost of flavor from the white cooking wine that I used. And then you have all those incredible filling ingredients, the kale, the mushrooms, the chickpeas and cranberries. And it just all comes together for one incredible dish. And for the fall recipe, just head on down into that video description box and make sure to like and follow the Holland House Facebook page. And you can also follow them on Pinterest for more incredible, delicious recipe ideas. And Holland House is also doing a coupon. So make sure to take advantage of that coupon and stock up on some cooking wine for this holiday season. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I'll see you next time.